huffing. What is that? Oh, I'll tell you. The main use is for fabrics overall. You can make actually textures on fabric and give the fabric more deep look, deep feeling, like in a movie. But you can use it also on props to give it more realistic looks. I used it on my Mysterio Gunlet. This is made out of Wobla. You can add a lot of small details with it and it actually sticks. It's very nice. It adds a lot. It looks much better with puff paint and much more screen accurate, which is crazy. What a little detail in the job can do and add to your cosplay. So if you never use puff paint, it's worth the tears. It's worth it. So you're probably wondering which brand I'm using Tulip Puff Paint. I usually order these ones from Amazon, but I have alternatives. The dimensional puff paint. After you buy your puff paint, you don't want to use it out of these bottles because the tip is too big. But for the web lines, I just use the tip that came with this bottle. Because as you can see, the web lines are very thick. So I just apply it from here. For the very small details, I used a very small tip. <laughs> this one. And with smaller tips, you can make smaller details. I'll leave in the description below where you can buy it. It's basically just Hina bottles, if nobody's Hina. <laughs> I know, Hina, right? I just fill it up, it's much more comfortable. And be patient, it's the most important thing to be proud of. Be patient and take your time to learn how the fabric reacts to the fabric. Don't rush, let it dry. It's okay to cry. If you're making small details, usually like to take 20 minutes tops to dry up, but if you use thick lines like spiderweb lines, it usually takes a few hours, so just let it dry. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. If you want to see more, just comment whatever you want.